The contractor agreement indicates that the workers' money, and this we are talking about both private sector and public sector, because almost every worker in this country pays tier two. We enter into a contractual agreement that I am buying bonds at X percent. So I have informed the beneficiaries that we have bought bonds on your behalf. At this rate, all of a sudden, government, who is the other party in the agreement, comes to say, for me, this is what I can pay. Take it or leave it. This will not be accepted. My union, Nagrat, the teacher unions will not accept this. We are members of the forum made up of the public sector unions, and we want to assure our members that we will resist this move by government. If it means that we all have to lay down our tools, we will do that. Because, you see, uh, like I said, we haven't been engaged properly on this matter. What has been communicated is not something that, um, in our view, will serve the interests of workers and of our pensioners well. It, would, it wouldn't serve them. And then, um, more so, we need we need to look at the broader picture in terms of the whole Ghanaian economy and see other ways of actually addressing this matter. But to touch our pensions, which seems to be a very soft area um, to lay your hands on because it's already majority of those uh, uh, investments that we have made in all the schemes, about 80 uh, close to 80 or 85 percent or even 90 percent are already in these bonds and the, the the helpful part of it is that it's not just the 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 government bonds but now they are touching the corporate bonds and the special purpose vehicles like the esla and dache and all of that